is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you guys another WWE replica belt video. Today guys, as you would have seen in my birthday haul, is a review of the commemorative 2008 ECW Championship belt. Let's get right into it. Okay, ladies and gents, so here is the ECW 2008 Championship. This is a Figures Inc. commemorative belt that came out in 2008, and obviously, because of that, it's very, very old and fragile. So, obviously, commemorative, those of you that do not know, means it's not metal, it's acrylic plastic. And yeah, this Joe Anthony nameplate isn't official, by the way, it's just blue tacked on. I will do a video eventually showing you how to make your own custom nameplates. But this ECW title is great. It was obviously the real one, was retired by Ezekiel Jackson uh, on the last ever ECW Championship match um, against Christian, who should have won that match and should have retained the championship. Um, and if you look at back in history, WWE don't really refer to Ezekiel Jackson as the final champion, they refer to Christian as. Uh, so yeah, there is that, so it was a bit pointless. But this exact championship was debuted in 2008 by Mark Henry and has held, been held by wrestlers such as Matt Hardy, Mark Henry, Christian, uh, I believe Jack Swagger had this one. Um, all of the ECW guys, the WWE ECW guys, not the original one. Now, I came across this championship on eBay for £60 as it is not in very good condition. Um, just various little things such as scratches all over the main plate. The straps all crinkled and a bit battered up, um, and it's missing some rivets. Obviously, you can see here they are not there, which means that plate is, is that plate is rather loose. So, without further ado, this ECW Championship is primarily silver. However, it does have quite a lot of black on it. I've seen a lot of people that don't like this championship. Mainly, they think the silver's okay, but they hate the amount of black that's been used on it. Um, there is a significant amount of black on it. If this was all silver still, it would have been better because it would have literally been like the big gold belt but big silver. Um, literally just, you know, with all of the designs but keep the backing silver other than the words of like champion and stuff. Um, but they didn't do that. I've got, this is a big debate over everyone on social media, what this bird is. WWE mainly use an eagle, but this has got flaming wings. So, is it a phoenix? Half of the people that like do reviews on this video say it's a phoenix, half people say it's an eagle. I'm not sure, the bird, we're going to call it the bird. Um, obviously ECW block writing right here, Re uh, pretty significant um, like thickness on the main plate, it is layered. So this backing part is all one piece and then this ECW bird with the lettering is all another layer. Uh, moving on to the side plates, they are exactly the same on each side, perfectly symmetrical other than the fact that these side plates, the flames go that way, these ones, the flames go that way. That's how you tell which one's meant to go on which. WWE main plate, it's a bit domed over, not much, but it is like a, like a small dome, just to give it that bit of like a circular look. Um, it's got the globe, obviously old WWE scratch logo right there, and then the ECW signif like the side plate that's all got the jagged edges. That follows the same design on this side plate, which is a little bit smaller, just says ECW on the side of it. This championship does not have a property of WWE uh, side plate on it, because the strap is as long enough as it is, and uh, it couldn't really get longer. This is the longest belt I have in my entire collection. As you see, if I go all the way up, I'm holding this above my head now, I don't even know if the camera can see the whole strap, but hopefully it could. But yeah, once again, obviously, this snap box is very wide um, but on both sides. And yeah, moving on to the next set of side plates. There's not too much I can talk about with this belt, ladies and gents, um, because all the plates look the same. So I can't go into too much detail. But yeah, once again, we've obviously got the domed side plate right there. This is coming out. It's WWE Scratch logo, globe, flames. Jagged edge design, exactly the same on this side. We got seven by seven snap box on each side. Seven snaps, seven snaps, seven snaps, seven snaps. On both the male and female snap boxes, both have the exact same, which is not seen very, uh, nowadays in WWE. It's normally the male ones that have more, but yeah, other than that, this is exactly the same. Now, what I'm gonna talk about is the strap. 
This strap is shit. There's no other word to describe it. Look at this flexibility. That This is terrible, ladies and gentlemen. It is a plastic strap um, by Figures Inc. And when the Figures Inc made the replica belts, they didn't make them very well. They were heavily inaccurate, especially some like the big logo rock belt. Um, and the straps tend to be not very good on them, which is the same case for this one. A comparison I've got is my JTW Intercontinental Championship. Obviously, this is a WWE belt. It's just I've covered up all the WWE logos of JTW. But this is a WWE commemorative replica belt. And the strap on this, you can bend it. It's not. It doesn't feel like real leather, but it definitely feels good. This one, well, this is just solid plastic. It doesn't even feel like leather. It's just straight up plastic. But other than that, the only thing that WWE do now, which is good on the commemorative belts, is they screw them instead of the terrible rivets that they used to put on them. Exhibit A. These rivets here, they pop off, they're very, not very on well, and what I've actually had to do is Gorilla Glue all of them. Because the moment I put this belt on around my waist for the first time, three of them popped off. And I said, there is no way I'm going to keep this. This can't keep happening. So I just Gorilla Glued it, and hopefully it's going to stay the same. But once again, the seller, obviously this is used from 2008. It does have a lot of wear and tear in the strap. The only two screws featured are the ones for the nameplate. Um, you can't actually buy the ECW 3D belt nameplate, I don't believe, anymore. Um, if you can, it's from probably Wrestling Superstore, but that's a US only thing. Um, so the nameplate you've got on is the one that you're going to be left with. But obviously the snaps the, are actually quite in well on there. But this strap, I just I can't get over how bad it is. It, they've come so far since WWE took over the license. Obviously, if I flip it around this way, you can see the sticker of authenticity, the holographic one by WWE, if my camera will focus. There we go. And then the Figures Inc. patch, obviously made by Figures Inc. So, Figures Toy Company. But there you go. That's that. And um, yeah, we're going to move over now onto the front camera and I'm going to show you the flexibility of the championship. So let's do that. So obviously, ladies and gentlemen, ECW championships, especially this one, are incredibly rare to find uh, in the UK anyway. I don't know about the United States, but the only replica belts I've seen of the ECW title have been in like the 500 pound range. And that is absolutely berserk. I can't speak for how good the strap is on the replica one because obviously the plates are metal. And with a big main plate like this, that strap's gonna get weighed down no matter what material it is. But looking at it, this is the flexibility of the strap when I'm holding it like this. It's not too bad, or it doesn't look too bad like this, but you have to maneuver it around a lot. If I throw it over my shoulder, you can see, oh, cause I've been maneuvering it, it sits flat. But when I first got it, it was sitting like this, and that is just not good. Um, once again, guys, this is a very fragile championship due to its age. It will not be seen in JTW. I will not be seen holding it in many videos, um, and it's just gonna be one of them that I can say I've added to my collection, which I am glad I have. It's gonna go on display eventually, hopefully. Um, but yeah, ECW Championship, snaps on it once again, very, very thick snap box. Normally, if I was to put on a championship, I would put it, I can't, you can't see my waist, so I put it around my waist, like this, do it up, and then spin it. But when I did that on this one, the rivet flew off. And that's a risk that I don't really wanna take again. So what I've actually been doing is doing the championship up and then putting it around my waist. But yeah, ladies and gents, this is the ECW 2008 Championship. I am a big fan of this design. I know that my friend Billy is also a big fan of this design. He was kind of the one that told me to buy it. Um, and yeah, other than that, there's not much left I can do. You've seen the over shoulder shot from this side. If I flip it over, you can see the over shoulder shot from this side. As you can see, the flexibility is not very good on this side. Let's give you a waist shot of me doing it up and then that should be the end of the video. So let's do that. So guys, I've lowered the camera and we are now gonna see it being put on my waist. We're gonna do this up. I'm gonna step into it and pull it up because I don't wanna break it. So I've just gotta find the right snap setting. I believe it was this one. These snaps are very tight, 
which is something that's actually quite cool considering it's an older replica. Um, newer replica belts, WWE tend not to put their snaps in very well, uh, especially when they're sewn on snap boxes. This isn't a sewn on, this is part of the strap and the snaps tend to pop off and um, it's really difficult to get them back in to the point where the snaps on my World Heavyweight I haven't actually put back in yet. Pull it up and here it is, ECW Championship on the waist. Let's go lower again so you guys can see what it's like. Here's the ECW Championship around my waist, ladies and gents. Obviously, you can see it's done up from the back on the snap box. Uh, done up quite nicely because it's got such a thick main plate, it's hard to swivel round without breaking it. Um, and obviously that's why I'm stepping into it. But once again, this is a really cool replica for me to own. And yeah, I am really glad I've got it, if I'm honest with you. Uh, the price on it was a bargain, especially for what it is. It's not obviously the greatest quality considering it's old stuff. But the price I paid, I'm happy with it. And yeah, that was my review of the 2008 commemorative ECW Championship in 2019. Does it hold up? No. It doesn't hold up. If you were thinking about buying this replica at normal price over a newer one, don't. That would be a stupid decision and you wouldn't be happy about it. I would definitely recommend buying a current day uh, commemorative championship from WWE Shop or WWE Euro Shop. Something like the Intercontinental, for example, uh, which is quite cheaper than the big ones, um, but you will be getting better value. So, yeah, that was once again my review of the ECW Championship. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.